What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Now, today we're not working on the 09Z06. We're actually going to be working on the 2017 Chevy Silverado, my daily driver, my tow pig, AKA Big Bertha. And I just closed the trunk, so more than likely the car is going to honk in a second. But let's jump into what we're doing to the truck today. I got an interesting one today. If you don't recall, or if you, you're in the market for a truck this age, which is 2014 to I believe 2019, you basically had your cloth interior option or you had your leather option for the LTs with the packages, the couple of packages up from the standard LT or the LTZ in the high country. Now my truck is an LT truck, but when I bought it, it did have cloth interior and at the time of purchase, I actually went through cat skins, spelled with a K, to get them to install leather interior in the truck. I knew I'd be in and out. I work on cars all the time. I'm usually towing something. I had a boat at that time. I didn't want my cloth of seats absorbing basically all the in and outs, the greasy arms, the dirty hands, you know, you know, maybe wet board shorts from being on the boat. So I knew I wanted leather in the truck. Now, I bought this truck back in 17. It's now 2024. I've had this truck for a solid seven years. It's got over 100,000 miles all put down by me. So the leather has naturally begun to show its wear and tear. Um, and it's taking a little bit more of a beating as of the last couple of years where I have my dog that's constantly in my truck and he's about an 85 pound golden doodle. So you can give, you can kind of get an idea of what he'll do to the interior, you know, when you're driving around. Now, fortunately, I only have one small tear in the interior and that was caused by him, but more because of me on a hard braking condition. But now I also have a son. So I have a car seat 24 seven inside the vehicle. I have his milk splats all over the back seats. I have his cookie crumbles, crumbs all over the truck as well. So that's where our new partner in today's video comes into play. Let's check it out. And a little bit earlier, I am running the cat skins leather interior in my vehicle. Uh, but over the last couple of years with my 85 pound golden doodle, and now my son introducing himself into every single ride that we take in that truck. The seats are starting to take a beating and you can start to see the wear and tear. My dog accidentally ripped it, more my fault than his. I hit the brakes a little too hard. He tried to grip as hard as he could. He put a tear in the back seat. And my son has blessed my seats with formula, milk, cookies, and other things on the back seats as much as everything else. The fronts have held up really, really well because I'm not drinking milk and I'm not using my claws to hold on to my seating position. But how do I keep extending the life? How do I make it a little bit better? How do I protect the seats, right? I've run dog covers on it. I've run different setups on it, but that's where our new partner steps in, custom interiors. Now what you see here is basically the top and bottom of one of my seats in my vehicle. And if you notice very closely, it looks just like the seats that are in my truck or anybody that's running a 2014 to 2019 Chevy Silverado setup. These are seat covers, but leather seat covers at a very, very similar quality and probably just as good as my Catskins leather interior quality. What I will say is that the Catskins, comparing the two, the Catskins is designed to be almost an OEM fit, exact fit. There's no areas in the vehicle that you can tell that it is a seat cover. These are seat covers, guys, but for someone who's looking to get leather interior or protect their current seats or upgrade from cloth and don't have the $2,000 or more readily available to go to jump to something like cat skins or do a more custom leather approach, custom interior is the way to go. I believe these vary between $400 to $600 and I can tell you just by holding them in my hands, the quality is insane. And I've actually started working on the truck and just kind of laying one out there and it looks absolutely phenomenal. So today we're gonna go ahead and get this installed on the truck. And while we install it, we'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons, the price points versus the cat skins and why I specifically am putting this in my truck and what my, uh, my goals are with this setup. So. Let's jump into it. Let's get this truck done. So like I had mentioned earlier, I actually already installed the passenger seat. I wanted to kind of just get a lay of the land, see what it was going to look like and make my final decision if this would be a good fit for my truck. Because keep in mind, like I mentioned, I do have 
the Catskins leather interior in my truck. And like I said, over the last seven years, it's held up really well. The problem is, if you don't properly maintain any leather seat or basically any seat at all, it really starts to show it's where um, I've got a lot of the just lack of conditioning and stuff like that that I've done in, in full transparency. But they've held up great. But the back seat's really the moment that's taken the biggest brunt of it. And that is basically because of my son and my dog. And I can't tell them to not be a dog and I can't tell my son to not be a baby. So this is going to help extend the life of my current Catskins leather by putting on these brand new ones. And plus, it's just going to give new life to the truck, which at this point, and I've been in a, in a situation where I've decided, should I get rid of this truck? Should I buy a new truck? Um, you know, it's got just over 100,000 miles. It runs like a champ. But, you know, would I love to have a brand new truck? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? But these kind of little things like these, these little changes help me fall in love with the truck again, help me fall in love with the aesthetic ride. And to be honest, where do you spend the most time when you're in a vehicle is inside the cockpit of the vehicle. So, you know, working with partners like Boost that got me the wireless charger um, and now working with partners like Custom Interiors, thanks to your guys and your views, I can upgrade the interior a little bit and kind of, you know, revive the experience that I had when I bought this truck, you know, seven years ago. So. Let's stop rambling, let's put this seat on. When you go into it, as you can see here, you have both of the holes for the, the headrest. We'll drop a clip in there as I remove the other headrest because for these trucks is a very specific and it kind of took me a couple seconds to figure out. I actually had to YouTube it. Um, and we'll get this on and you'll kind of see what it looks like before now. have like these like round ah, uh, plastics on more of that elastic setting you're basically going to shove your hand as far back with them and what's going to end up happening is they're going to be in a flat layout and once they get past a certain position of the seat they're going to stand up which is basically just going to lock them into place you are going to see that the seat needs a little bit of form fitting here i've had the passenger one in my car for a couple days and it has started to kind of take a better shape as it kind of um, you know, forms with the heat, you know, the truck is kind of parked. So I would say be patient with it because initially I was a little frustrated with how it, as you can see here, kind of bellies. But you know, my wife's seat at this point is kind of doing a better job already of kind of, you know, flexing and stretching and, and laying out where it's supposed to be. Now, when it comes to the back seats from the videos I have seen, this is probably the one seat that you can maybe tell a little bit more that it's a seat cover and not your traditional leather. And I think that's just by nature because of the fact that these seats are far more mobile. They're going to be moving up and down when you lift the back seat to access things. So it's it's got to be a bit more flexible and a little bit more room for, for things to occur. So give these back seats a little bit more grace when you're comparing them to how the front comes out. The front really, it's you know, you've got to really inspect the car to really see that it's not the factory seat that you're looking at. up guys um, got the seats all installed I actually on my way to visit a client I figured you know wrap it up on the drive here these seat covers are unlike anything I've actually seen in the market I've always been anti seat covers just because you know the typical seat covers you see on Jegs Summit your local auto parts store are all universal fits they're going to look blotchy. They're going to look like you have, you know, a comforter on top of your seat. Not really stylish. You really lose the interior when you do that. These things are designed to be form fitted for your vehicle. So they don't, so, you know, they have, when you go on their site, you're going to have to look for your specific application because they are cut and designed for your car. Um, and honestly, when you put them in that category, the seat cover category versus all the other seat covers in the market, I don't believe 
without doing too deep of research, there's any vendor that can match the quality of this that you're going to get because you're not going to lose out on the look and feel of the interior of your car and you're going to get the benefits of extending the life of either your cloth seats or in my case my cat skins leather seats which you've seen in the video there's you know it's starred to shorts wear and tear typically a seat cover like i was mentioning kind of almost kills the vibe this thing is enhanced the look and feel the interior of my truck right now it just kind of gives it a much more aggressive look obviously it gives it a brand new leather look in here which looks phenomenal they're super grippy they're very soft um my only concern with them and understanding that these are seat covers is on the rear seats since you have the 40 60 split bench and those bench seats are designed to be going up and down depending on how often you access under the seat I usually have a car seat in here and some tools under the other seat. I'm not lifting it every day, but there is a little bit of friction between the two. And my only concern is, is it gonna start pulling it? What's the wear gonna look like in six months in that area there? But again, there are seat covers. My leather seats are still beneath this. Um, and basically now I have even more protection on my truck. And on top of that, my truck looks absolutely night and day different in betterment for the truck. So I'm excited about it. I'm gonna drop a link down below so you guys can kind of check if they have a seat cover set up for your application. I went with the honeycomb theme in the center, if that's what they're calling it, but they have different color schemes. They have different options. You don't have to go with this option. I wanted something um, to kind of keep a very factory look. And actually my Boost Auto Steps have this very similar honeycomb theme on the top of them so now my seats kind of go and flow with that which i thought was pretty neat so check them out in the link in the description if you've watched this far uh make sure you hit like and subscribe and share the video turn on that bell for notifications we're gonna be getting back to the corvette content real soon probably within the next week or so we got a cool one coming up with my garage um and then we're gonna start the build out of Vader 2.0. So check in for that, subscribe, those videos are coming real soon. Peace.